I got gotcha. you. I got to take the hop up down. Stand by. Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing really well. And today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your inner barrel and configure your hop-up uh, rubber properly on any Airsoft M4 or AR platform. Uh, we'll take the gun apart and show you how to do it. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is just to break down your rifle into its upper and lower components. So we've taken out our front pin and we've taken the upper away from the lower. We're going to take our hop-up chamber and we're just going to pull it from the upper straight out. We should have our barrel attached. We're gonna remove the hop-up chamber from the barrel, and then we're gonna take apart the hop-up rubber and the hop-up nub. If you, this is the first time you're doing it, I'll explain the components of this really briefly. We have our inner barrel, which is the actual piece of metal your BBs will fly down, and then we have an O-ring, or some of you guys might have a little brass collar that will fit inside this gap between your barrel and your hop-up uh, chamber. That's just to reduce movement of your barrel within your outer barrel and within the hop-up, against the hop-up chamber. Go ahead and take that off. We have a C-clip here that clips your barrel onto your hop-up chamber. Take that out. And now, what I would do first, actually, is take out your hop-up nub. So in my case, I have a pin I have to push out. there's our hop-up nub just fell out so to remove your hop-up chamber from your barrel and hop-up rubber just pull on it very gently you might have to twist it a bit just so you don't yank it off and damage your hop-up rubber so now we could see the hop-up rubber on the inner barrel and it's kind of dirty we'll have to clean that later but to get it off just you I would use your fingernails and you want to push it off from the end towards the muzzle of your inner barrel and you'll see here is there's a window in your inner barrel where a little rubber cutout, or not a cutout, a rubber attachment from your hop-up rubber will sit. You wanna get this nub on your bucking, on your hop-up rubber out without tearing it. So I would, I almost pinch up here, and then you can push. And once you've gotten it past that window, you should be able to pull it right off. All right, here's our old barrel. Set that to the side. Here's our new barrel. So now, to put our hop-up rubber on, I'll use this one just for demonstration purposes. This is a maple leaf um, 60 or 50 degree hop-up bucking. It's got one of their triangular patches. The other uh, hop-up setup I'll use sometimes is a g, g green bucking, which is also excellent. It's also relatively inexpensive. And to put this on, you want to align the notch on the bottom of the hop-up rubber with the notch on the bottom of your inner barrel. And you just want to push it on. And once you get to that resistance point of the window and the rubber cutout in your hop-up rubber, just sort of lift it up if you need to. But if you just push a little more, it should go on. Again, you don't want to force it. There we go. Okay, now you can attach your hop-up chamber back. So align the bottom of the barrel, which has this notch with the bottom of your hop-up chamber, and you're just going to slide it in. Again, don't force it. If you need to twist it, go. For, you can twist it a bit. Now what I do is I put your C-clip back. I would put your C-clip back on at this point. So you can take your clip and just attach it, just like that. And now I'd reassemble your hop-up uh, chamber. And to do this, you're gonna have to attach your hop-up arm, which is the part that holds your hop-up nub, this bit, which impinges on your hop-up rubber. And uh, we're just gonna insert it right into here. So I'm gonna take my hop-up arm, I'm gonna put it in its slot, and make sure that it's just resting on top of the hop-up nub, and it's centered. And then we can take our pin and push our pin back in, just like that. Take our O-ring or your brass uh, collar, if you have that, and slide it back on. And now we come to my modifications with tape and uh, other attachments that aren't standard. So now the goal of this setup is to ensure that your hop-up bucking is perfectly aligned with your inner barrel. And you want to have that perfectly centered, because if it's not centered, your BBs will be flying left and right, because um, the nub will be off to one side and it'll fly to the left or the right or whatever, and you don't want that. So in order to center it, I turn it on so I could see that it's already on and I have a clear view of the hop-up uh, bucking impinging onto that um, inner barrel. Maybe you can see it, I hope you can. I rotate it until it's centered. I take a piece of electrical tape and I'll wrap it around the C-clip just to tighten the C-clip a bit. There we go. And then provide some air seal in case any air escapes. I also wrap the front with Teflon tape. There we go. And now if we check, it's perfectly centered. 
So that's my method for making sure your hop-up chamber and your hop-up bucking are perfectly centered. If anyone else has any better methods, please let me know because I would love to hear them. It would make my gun shoot better and probably makes your gun shoot better. So let me know down in the comments if you have a better method. I'd love to know it. But so far, that's what I've got. So now you could take your barrel, set it back into your upper. So just slide it down your outer barrel. And then line up the two locking lugs on your hop-up unit and push it into your rear trunnion unit of your outer barrel. Um, some hop-up units will have a spring on top and you'll have some spring tension here like it'll bounce in and out. That's totally fine. Mine doesn't. Mine has a set screw. Different design. Just take your upper and attach it back onto your lower. And we are back in business. So that's going to be how to replace your inner barrel and to configure your hop-up rubber with your hop-up chamber and your hop-up nub and your inner barrel to ensure the most consistency out of your airsoft BBs. Again, if anyone has any better methods than just taping it and making sure it's centered, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. And with that said, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all learned something, and thanks for watching. As always, my gear recommendation for today is this Cobalt Screwdriver Set, which works really well in my airsoft toolkit. And my music recommendation for today is Rhapsody in Blue by George Gershwin. You can find links in the cards up here or in the description down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to comment any questions you have, and I'll get to them as soon as I can, and I'll see you all next time.